Greetings, this is the Grease Monkey and today we are going to paint vertex colors and export them via FBX into Unity. And to do that, we are going to blow this stuff out and start a new, and we're gonna create a little disc. And we're gonna do that with a mesh cone. And we're going to, let's, let's turn this little cap to nothing. And we'll do this depth to zero. And let's shrink this radius to to 0.01. We're going to leave a little hole here because the UV map is what we want. And it also has better edge loops. Uh, I can demonstrate that right now, actually. So we will, we will demonstrate. I'm going to create, let's see, let's create another one called cone. And we're going to make his radius zero. We're going to call him Mr. Derp, the arch nemesis of Loopy. All right, Mr. Derp, let's show him that, how bad you are. Well, you're not bad. We are just not what we want. So Mr. Derp has, let's go to UV editing, has a nice projected circle where you can, you know, put any number of decals on. Um, we want uh, more of what Mr. Loopy has. And Mr. Loopy has these nice straight uh, UVs where we can scroll a texture across. You know, we can do panning for days, right? In addition, the edge loops are far superior for Mr. Loopy. Let's, let's try Mr. Derp and let's create some edge loops for him. Go to the modeling tab. And we're gonna go up to edit mode and we're gonna click this little bisected cube called loop cut. And we're gonna to try to create circles around here. And that's not happening. Um, we get these little M's, which is not what we want. What we do want is we want a nice circle like this is making. And then once we put that circle in, we to go to edge edge slide and we want to slide this to where we want it. We want to create another one and then we'll go to edge, edge slide, and we we'll slide this towards the center. We want our edge loops closer to the center because that's where the UV distortion, the UV distortion happens. Yeah, and so Mr. Derp, you're gone. Alright, so now let's get to vertex coloring. So Right over here, we can go to Vertex Paint and you can just start painting away, right? We can paint green. We have an edge loop here, so we can paint blue on that edge loop. And we have a center, a red, and let's do some purple somewhere. Let's do purple on this edge loop. All right, now let's create some alpha. This is alpha one all of this is alpha one so what we want to do is erase alpha and it doesn't look like we're doing that at all so hmm. let's go into shading and create a new shader and let's do color color tribute and let's hook up the alpha to the base and what that'll do is see this little beach ball nodule right here on the view that will it, whenever we're in that mode we'll be able to see the alpha right so when we're in this mode we won't see anything when in this mode we'll see alpha we will see something in this mode when we're in vertex uh, paint mode right and so that's kind of handy but we're in this mode we can paint our we can paint our alpha which is nice um, you know we get to do whatever we want and there is one caveat and I'd like to bring that up. When you're doing your coloring, um, you want to make sure that this is set to face corner and color bite. W when you go to vertex paint, it automatically creates this call right here. Uh, and I could, I could demonstrate that real quick. So if we go to object mode, I want you to watch down here. Just, just watch down here. I'm going to change this to changes to vertex paint ready watch and see it just created a brand new one um, and so this is the 
FBX exporter will F export vertex colors with these two settings. It will not set them with any other settings. And to demonstrate that, um, we like when you create a new one, it automatically wants you to do vertex color. And that sounds perfectly normal, right? You're just like, oh, okay, I'll set this to white and I'm done. No, don't, don't do that. We're <laughs> this is not what you want. You want to do face corner and bike color. And that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Okay. So that's great. Um, let's, let's paint some of these bad boys and let's see if that shows up in unity. Oh, let's take the mix down here and let's do file export FBX and we'll do disk. And yep. And unity, that looks good. And let's see the alpha and the alpha looks good. All right. So that's it for vertex painting. But if you wanted to paint more programmatically, like uh, selecting verts and then setting them manually to a specific color, that's a little more complicated, but we can do that right now. Um, so we're going to keep this uh, color tribute. It doesn't really matter if you have that or not, because we're just going to change all the news. We're going to go up to the... Uh, actually, first, we're going to create two groups. The the group that we want to color and another group that we want to color. So we want to, I want to color all these outside vertices one color and one alpha and then this edge loop in here another color so we're going to call this one edge and we'll call this one middle and we have to manually oops we're gonna we have to manually assign these so let's go up to edit mode do edge and i'm going to double click that should select all these bad boys and i'm going to do assign and i'm going to we can, you can hit to deselect here, you can select nothing. Um, I'm going to select this, double clicking it, and then I'm going to assign that to middle. And boom, assigned. Deselect, select, it works. And then I'm going to select this one, that works. Doesn't look like any extras are selected or deselected. All right, everything's tested. So we have the ones that we want. We have two groups. So let's go up here to geometry node. Let's create new. And you'll notice that we have in vertex, we have this data one, if it's in the edge, if it's in the edge group and zero, if it's not. So these groups are in the vertex data and then the face corner has the color data, just so you know. So we're going to select everything in the edge. So we've got to go to named attribute and that's a float because this is one and zero. And we're going to type in edge and we are going to compare that float here to one. So if it's equal to one, meaning if it's in the edge group, it's going to be true. And if it's not, it's not. So, okay. So we want this once it's, um, once it's true or false, we want to export a color. So make sure you set this to color. Please, 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 or you'll get frustrated. All right, so we're going to hook this up to switch. And then if it's in the edge, we want to color it green and zero alpha. Okay. And if it's outside, we're going to color it red and one alpha. That's fine. And now we just got to get this data back into the geometry. So we'll do the store named attribute. Make sure the value is hooked up. And we can move this down between that green line. I hope we cannot. Nope. Interesting. It worked now. <laughs> All right. So we'll hook this value up into here. And then we're going to store this in the face corner color. And if you notice, um, these are color and point. And that kind of coincides with this. So, like, watch. So the color. It adds a new color, but you should know that we we need specifically these funky little settings right here. Remember these bad boys? That's what we want right here too. Okay, so let's do that. So let's set this to not color, but by color and not point, but face corner. And that should be good enough. Um, let's see what we got here. Let's, Let's go to modeling tab 
and let's do this beach ball. And there, the, the alpha looks good. Let's change this back to color by going to the shader and changing the color. Beach ball. Yeah, that looks fine. So we've got green, orange, red. Uh, let's say we wanted that um, edge loop, though, to be a different color. The middle one, right? So let's go to geometry. We're going to let me get some real estate here. We're going to duplicate this. Control D. Set this down here. We're going to change this edge to middle. And change this to yellow. All right. Got a nice yellow. And we're going to change this alpha to 0.5. Right. So we got. Uh, we got uh, this going into our false, Move these bad boys. So what's happening here is if it's part of the edge, it's going to be green. If it's not part of the edge, it's going to go down here. And this is going to check if it's part of the middle, it's going to go yellow. And if it's not part of the middle, it's going to be red. So it's going to go from red, yellow to oh, red, or sorry, green, yellow to red. And let's check our work. Let's go to shading, and that looks good. And let's now check the alpha. Alpha looks good. All right, so let's export this and check it in Unity. That's looking pretty good. And let's check the color. Save. No whammies. Look at that. So now we've colored two different ways, and we've we know how to color our alpha. And uh, the only thing that you need to remember is that is, is those gotchas. And I'm just gonna bring up all three windows here. Whoops, uh, we don't need this one. All three windows. Bring this window up and this window up. You wanna remember face corner by color. Face corner by color. By color, face corner. <laughs> just remember these bad boys. This is the only way your FBX exporter is going to encode the vertex color. And I'm not kidding. So if there's one thing you get out of this tutorial, that's what you need to get out of it. And uh, I hope this saves some time for you. I mean, I hope you're not looking all over the internet for this answer. But uh, I, I'm hoping this saves some time and that you get your answers here. Anyways, thank you for watching.